If right now you have a product that's struggling to make sales, this is the perfect video for you. So I'm gonna share with you 10 ways to increase sales on Amazon. And I actually came up with these 10 ways when one of my products was struggling to gain traction. I had launched it and I thought I did everything right, but it just wouldn't make sales. So what I did was I took a step back, I took a look at all the other products that I had successes with and tried to boil down what the essence of that success was. I also took a look at other brands on Amazon and I boiled it down to the actionable steps you can use and make more sales. Individually, these 10 ways are not going to change your entire business, but in combination, they make a huge difference difference. And I put them in order from step one to step 10. So make sure to watch in order and implement them in order as well to get the maximum benefits. So let's dive into it. The easiest way to increase your sales right away is by enabling global shipping. If you didn't know this already, you can go to your seller settings and you can literally flip a switch and enable Amazon global shipping. When you enable the setting at no extra charge to you, Amazon will make your product available to more than 100 countries. You're going to need to do nothing. The customer will have to pay international shipping and probably some custom duties for you. You just get an extra sale. Once you have this enabled, anybody from other countries who's using amazon.com you know if they search up your product the only products they're going to see on the web page are those that have the amazon global shipping enabled so there's much less competition and truthfully about two percent of my total sales come from people buying products outside of amazon.com but using amazon.com anyways because they don't have their own amazon platforms in the country that they're in and to enable the setting all you have to do is go into your seller central account hover over the settings here go to film it by amazon click on that it'll take you to a page like this you scroll all the way down to export settings and then make sure that your export settings are set to enable and that basically it. the next thing you need to do to increase your sales is optimize for mobile so most of us work on desktop and we optimize our listings on desktop but did you know that 60 percent of all sales happen through mobile so it's incredibly important to realize that there are differences between shopping on desktop on the amazon mobile app and even just pulling up your phone going on amazon.com and then buying from there the experience is completely different all right so here we are in the desktop of amazon i want to just show you an example of some of the differences you can see on desktop versus mobile the first and probably the easiest thing you'll spot right away is that the titles on desktop are much much actually longer than on mobile. I'm going to actually start recording my, my phone here and I'll show you how the exact same product on mobile, you can only see up until it says, you know, wraps with thumb loop four and dot, dot, dot. It's because on mobile, there's not enough space to have as much in your title. This obviously means that you need to make sure that you're adding the most important and valuable keywords up front. So when someone is actually searching for your product and looking at it, they can see exactly what they want and why they need your product. It's quite obvious what this product is for, but it would be nice for them to say something along the lines of, you know, boxing or kickboxing or movie tie something in the title so that people know exactly what this product is for. Another thing to note is the layout. So we're gonna use this product to show the differences in the layout. You'll see that the, there's a title, then there's the bullet points and then the description. And that's basically how it is for every single product on Amazon on desktop. If you didn't already know, you can go to mobile and test this yourself. We're gonna use the exact same product and click on it and you can see its title. And as we scroll down, you'll see a few differences. So the first difference is that it's laid out the same, but the features are actually cut off. It only shows you one and a half features. You've actually got to click on it to fully open it and read them. I'll tell you later what you can do to optimize. But then you also see that if you scroll down at the bottom, it has the description there. And it's a giant block of text, which probably no one's going to read. It's very, very important to understand that it's different on desktop, on mobile. And then if you go to the actual website, which I will right now, you can see that on the Amazon website, it goes title. Then you can see that it goes description. And then only after the description, it shows the features. Lastly, I want to show how, you know, from different products actually changes. Some products are one layout and other products are different layouts. So if I go to the same, you know, kind of category and I go to this product, you'll see that it has title. Then after that, it has its description. It has the A plus content which is great. That's really good for mobile. And then lastly, it has the product features here. And this is actually on the Amazon mobile app. It depends from product to product as well. So with that all being said, here's a few things you should do to optimize for mobile on your Amazon listing. One is make sure that your title has all the right keywords and the reasons why someone would buy front loaded in it because on mobile, you, know, you can't see that much. The second thing is make sure that your first and second bullet point are really eye catching because sometimes Amazon likes to minimize them. So you actually can't see them on your listing. Make sure that they tell someone why they should buy your product instead of someone else's. The third thing is remember that Amazon Amazon is always testing things from week to week or month to month. Your listing might look completely different. Make sure to go back and look at your listing and understand which layouts it is so you can make sure to optimize in the right direction for your particular situation. And the fourth thing is like that last example I showed, make sure to have A plus content. It's so much better for mobile and increases your conversions drastically if you have it set up. And that takes us into the next way to increase sales on Amazon. And that's to enroll into brand registry. When you enroll into brand registry, you're going to get access to A plus content and A plus content is going to do a lot for your listing. You know, for one, it's going to turn your descriptions from some like this, where it's just a blob of text to more of something like this, where you can actually see the product and, you know, has nice big images where you can convey more information to your audience. And it just overall looks amazing, not only on desktop, but especially on mobile. Enrolling into brand registry used to take, you know, six to 12 months to get your trademark. But now if you use the IP accelerator program, you can get in in like two weeks. So I think other than cost, there's really no reason why you shouldn't have A plus content on your list. It's probably one of the best investments you can do when it comes to conversion rates for your products. Another huge benefit to getting brand registry 
sure it is that you'll get the access to a bunch of new tools that you can use to increase your sales. And to get access to these tools, all you have to do is go to your seller central, click on brands, and then go to brand analytics. And you'll have a bunch of keywords and stuff like that and data that you can dig into there to understand where to put your efforts into ranking. And the good part about all these tools is they show you the search volume from real searches. That way, you know exactly which keywords to run PPC on. Another tip I can give you is when you're creating a plus content, make sure to add text. So it's something like this, right? Make sure that you have some text in there. I know it doesn't necessarily look good, but my Amazon guy has proven that having about 500 words of keywords of text in your listing actually helps with ranking it. And the higher you get ranked, the more relevancy you're drawn to that stuff, the more sales you'll get organically. Also, when you add images, do not forget to add alt text in those images, name the actual images, whatever your product keywords are, rather than just having it like main image one or a plus image two. have them be keywords so that Amazon can read the metadata. And lastly, you want to have a from the brand brand story kind of section on your listing. The reason why is because this is the A plus content, you know, it's taking up some good amount of space. It's nice and big, but then this does even more, right? It's more reason, more selling room for yourself to sell the customers. And on a side note, in, a, in another benefit is the more space this actually takes, the harder it is for someone to come all the way to this section where they see sponsored products. And these are all your competitors bidding to kind of steal your customers. So if someone is already on your page, the last thing you want them to do is to get to that section. So in this situation, you know, if you're looking at angry orange, you scroll through it, then you don't see anything. You don't see anything. You see one section of, you know, ads, another section of ads, and then you see giant, you know, kind of a plus content. And it takes a long time for them to get back to the next ad section. And that's what you want to do. Keep your customers away from other people's ads. That way they're much more likely to buy your product since they're already on your page. And by the way, if you are enjoying this content, if you're getting any value from it, please make sure to leave a like down below because it gives me some feedback on the kind of content that you like. If you like it, leave a like. And that way I know to make more content like this. The next thing you want to do is set up a super easy PPC campaign. I mean, this is literally like printing money PPC campaign. It's an auto low bid campaign. And basically the way you set it up is go to your campaign manager, create campaigns, and then click on sponsor products here. So what you're going to want to do here is get in create your ad group name if you want to and click literally all the products that you have. So I uh, just press add all on this page. It's going to come into this section. It doesn't matter if your products are different. doesn't matter if you have different variations. doesn't matter anything. Just add every single product you have into this campaign. We're going to keep it on automatic targeting, scroll down and make sure that the bid is super, super low. We're going to set this to like five to 10 cents a bid. So make sure that you, if you're doing five cents, do 0.05 or 0.07 and we're going to make it super, super low bid. The reason for this is because it's only really going to show up when the bid is super low. So when someone clicks on it, you're going to get charged almost nothing, which means that every single time that someone clicks and buys your a cost will be super, super low and ultra profitable. This is something that you should have running 24 seven. You can set like a $50 or hundred dollar budget on something like this and make sure to keep watching it. But realistically, it's not going to spend that much money and every single sale you get will be profitable. And after that, all you do is literally just launch the campaign, keep on dynamic bids up and down, you know, name the portfolio, whatever you want to do, launch the campaign and let it do its thing. The next thing you want to do to increase sales is add a video on your listing. Even nowadays, most listings do not have videos on them. And I don't understand why, because you can get a pretty good video done on Fiverr for a hundred to 300 bucks. And the truth is these videos are actually going to make you money in the long term, because even if they increase conversions by one or 2%, that's one or 2% more sales in your pocket over and over again, recurring for the lifetime of your listing. Or honestly, if you're strapped for cash and you don't have the money to pay someone, do it yourself. You can also use this website, which is the TikTok ads website to get some inspiration. If you're going to give it to a Fiverr person to do, or even if you want to do it yourself, at least this is a way to look at top performing ads in the last you know, seven days, 30 days, 180 days and see what works and what doesn't. You can add something similar to your listing because, you know, if this works you know, here, it probably work on your listing as well. Click on any one of these and it will take you to a page like this kind of gives you the different metrics for the videos, likes, all that kind of stuff. And you can actually watch the video here as well to get some ideas on what works. And there's so many different ads and stuff like that. You can do searches or products and keywords and everything and get all the inspiration you need right here. And if you end up getting a video done, make sure to post it on your socials, put it on your TikTok, put it on Instagram reels, Facebook reels, you know, literally everywhere, because why not get a few extra eyeballs on your product and on your listing? The sixth thing you can do to increase your sales right now after watching this video is go up and sign up for PickFu. Basically what this is, it's like an online poll service where you can put, you know, different things head to head. So let's say you have two main images you want to test main image A versus main image B, and you can put a poll out and ask someone like, which of these pictures are you most likely to click on and learn more about the product, you know, picture A or picture B. And what people are going to do is they're going to go on, they're going to look at the two pictures and then they're going to 
they're going to leave you some feedback on which picture they like more and why. This way you can determine which of the images is going to have a higher click through rate and then obviously lead to more sales as well. And remember the angry orange listing that we showed you with the really nice A plus content and the nice pictures. Well, as you can see here, they use stuff like PicFu to be able to figure out which packaging works better, which pictures work better, which, you know, A plus content draws more attention. And if you go to the PicFu website and scroll to the bottom, you'll see where it says PicFu gallery right here. Click on gallery. It'll take you to this page. And basically this is showing you all the different polls that were run using PicFu. So basically you can just go and you click on, let's say, which product would you buy? You click on that. As you can see, this person has some settings, you know, audience, 50 US based respondents, Amazon Prime subscribers, people 25 to 34 years old and people 35 to 44 years old. So he's adding some metrics there and it's only going to show this poll to those kind of people. As you can see, he gave them three main images. He asked, which product would you buy? Okay, I guess it's different styles of product, product A, product B, product C. And so you can see that they chose product C by far. And if you read the comments, you can also get all these comments from all these people. And they'll explain not only what they chose, but why they chose it. And in this particular situation, they also did which order they would buy it. So they would buy C, then B, then A, C, B, A, C, B, A, C, B, A, or this one's C, A, B. So you can have tons of different variations and polls here and understand fully one, what kind of product you want to sell. You can try different colors. You can try different main images. You can try different titles. This is literally someplace that you can split test everything and get direct answers right away. This polls run for like a couple hours and you get all those answers that you saw below. So this is an invaluable tool to increase sales and increase your conversion rate. And the most important thing to split test is your main image. So basically what you want to do is you want to create a poll, maybe something like this. If you're shopping on Amazon, which product would you click on? Have all your competitors there, then figure out why someone like, let's say this picture over this picture. The best part about PicFu is you do not need to guess. Just scroll down and you can read all the comments, all the reasons why they chose one product over another, why they like one product over the next. A super easy and simple way to increase your conversions. The next thing you need to do is make sure that you're answering all your Q&A questions. You have no idea how many times I look at a listing and I see there's so many questions, but the seller has never answered any one of those questions. And if maybe you didn't know about this, if you just scroll down on your listing and you go to the section here, there should be a Q&A section right here. You can see all these questions that people ask and you need to make sure that you're answering those as the seller. Like in this situation, right? You can see that it says animal testing question mark. That's the question. And the seller said no animal testing, right? And it shows a little badge that says the seller says that. So that way you have some authority for those questions. And if you know, it's a common question you keep getting, like people asking, are do they test on animals? Do they test on animals? Do they test on animals? You can see that many people are asking that there's a lot of thumbs up and there's a lot of engagement in that question. Then make sure to go into your listing and maybe make a point saying like no animal testing, or maybe even add it to your product listing or, you know, like a little badge that says no animal testing. And the same thing goes for like any single other one of the questions. So like, is it safe to use on wood floors? Also make sure that it's shown in your listing somewhere that it is safe for hardwood floors. That's some ways that you can use it as a feedback loop to reflect the questions that people are having. Because if someone actually writes out that question, you can bet your ass there's way more people who are thinking that and didn't buy your product because they just weren't sure. The eighth thing you can do to increase sales is to create some sort of deals and discounts. There are tons of different deals you can do from lightning deals to subscribe and save and all sorts of stuff. But the two ones that I would recommend you set up and try if you have them available is don't run the lightning deal, run a seven day deal. For me, those always work the best. I feel like having them run for seven days allows for more customers to see your product, see the discount and for Amazon to push your product for a longer period of time. It also gives a huge conversion increase to your listing because you have a little badge that says, you know, seven day deal, which really does help a lot from stealing sales from your competitors as well. Another thing I'd always run on my listing are these little coupons. If you don't have them running because you know, you're scared that people are going to use them and you'll get too big of a discount, you know, you're wrong. You should set these up. These definitely increase conversions. And the funny thing is, even if you do like a dollar or $2, something like 50% of people don't even end up clicking that button and getting that discount. You know, they buy full price anyways, but they're drawn to your listing because that little green coupon section. The last piece of advice I can give you is this. If you're going to run a seven day deal or a lightning deal is to make sure that you do the math if it's going to work out for you or not, because it costs about $350 to run one of these deals. And if you don't do the math correctly, you can easily lose a lot of money on your deal. So just do the math and make sure that, you know, you take into account that cost 350 bucks to get one of those running. The ninth thing you should be doing is creating a brand store and then creating Amazon posts. The reason why is because we have an example here, which is back to this Hawk, uh, you know, uh, wristband stuff. Basically, if you just click on the brand name here, it says Hawk Boxing. If I click on that, what it's going to do is it's going to take me uh, to a search with Hawk Boxing as the, the search. I'm going to see a lot of the Hawk Boxing products, but I'm also going to see random stuff that isn't Hawk Boxing. So like these punching mitts and, and all sorts of random stuff that actually isn't Hawk Boxing. So maybe I click on that. Maybe I roam around. I see something else I like and I buy. If you actually set up an Amazon store, it takes a little bit of time to do this, you know, spend a little bit of money or again, like I said, do it yourself. You can come here and instead of saying, you know, brand name Hawk here, what it's going to do is going to show visit the angry orange store. When you click on that, it's going to take you to the, the store. Basically, the only thing here is angry orange products. You're not going to find any competition here. If you have multiple products, this is the perfect thing to do. If you don't have a store set up, it will take you back to the search pages and people might find something else that they like more than your product. And another thing you get as a benefit when you have an Amazon store is you're able to create Amazon posts. And it's basically like Amazon's version 
version of Instagram, it's going to be hard to get a following there and stuff like that. But the reason why it's so powerful is because if you have Amazon posts set up, what happens is that when people are searching up on mobile and they go to other competitors products, sometimes randomly, Amazon will just put a kind of feed there of related Amazon posts. And if you have a picture of your product like this and it shows up on a competitor's listing and someone clicks it, it's literally a free advertisement. You don't have to pay for Amazon posts. You just post them and they start showing up on random different places on Amazon, completely free promotion. And if you're already making content for Instagram or Facebook and have some content out there to post, make sure to add it to your Amazon store as well. Super easy and simple way to just repurpose the content you already have. And lastly, number 10 way to increase sales is to expand into other Amazon marketplaces. If you're already making some money, you have some profits coming in and you want to easily increase your sales, make sure to start venturing into other markets. If you're in the US, think about selling in Canada or in the UK. If you're in Canada, move to the US or the UK. The reason you want to do this is because you already have a complete setup for your factory and supplier set up. You have already listing set up. You have the pictures and images and all sorts of content already made. So posting it up on different marketplaces is pretty easy and requires very little work of you. All the infrastructure is in place. And the way I would expand is I would expand into English speaking countries first because it's much easier than going to somewhere like Germany where you, know, you have to get your listings converted, have a customer service then in German. If someone's messaging you, they can message you in German and you have to hire a lot of people to make that happen. So make sure to expand in the English speaking countries first. On that note, though, understand that even within English speaking countries, we use different words like from American Canada, you know, you might say pants and in the UK, you're going to say trousers. So you have to make sure that your listing is reflecting the correct keywords and search terms for the marketplace that you're going into. The same thing goes for the word mom in Canada, America, we say M O M for mom in the UK. It's more mom M U M. If you you know don't know the right keywords and you don't know how people talk, you can still kind of mess up a lot. Make sure to do your keyword research properly. Don't just copy and paste your listing over to new marketplaces. So to increase your sales right now, what I want you to do is one, enable global shipping if you don't have it already. Two, optimize your listing for mobile. Three, I want you to get brand registered if you aren't already. Create your A plus content, put some text in the A plus content and make sure it's as big as possible so that it takes up as much space as possible. And do not forget the from the brand section. Four, create the auto low bid campaigns that will literally print you money. Five, use the TikTok website that I showed you to get some inspiration, create a super easy video for your listing. Six, split test your main image with PicFu or with some other polling service to make sure that your first image is as good as it possibly can be. Seven, answer the Q&A questions and reflect the answers in your listing. Use it as that feedback loop. Eight, go to the advertising and deals page and see if you're qualifying for a seven day deal. It may be worth your time to do that and set a coupon up if you haven't already. It's incredibly important. Even if it's a dollar two, having that greed badge is worth it and most people won't even use your discount. Number nine, create an Amazon store and create some Amazon posts so that you start showing up on your competitors listings. And number 10, if you've done all that and your sales start picking up, expand into new markets. Thanks for watching and I hope it really does help you out. Leave a comment down below if you tried any of these and how it works and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more content like this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.